The museum gave us a closer look at the impact this quake had. A 3D map shows earthquakes recorded around the world. The dots you are seeing measure the size and the depth of those earthquakes. A few days prior to the big quake, we saw a much smaller green dot in Nepal. Fast forward to Saturday, you can see just how intense the big one was. That big orange dot is a 7.8 magnitude earthquake that was about 15 kilometers deep, which is really shallow. And then it's followed by a series of aftershocks that they'll be feeling for weeks to come. While it's not the biggest earthquake to ever hit the region, it was very powerful. Quakes there are common. The reason, tectonic plates. This map shows us how those plates have shifted over the last 50 million years. The Himalayas were formed by plates colliding. The subcontinent of India is sliding under Tibet and Nepal um, at about 1.7 inches per year. And so earthquakes occur along that fault because the plate gets stuck as it's going underneath the Eurasian plate. And like a spring, it builds up a lot of energy. And the only way to release all of that energy is for an earthquake to occur.